trust unions. They're, tr they're trying to do what they did in Wisconsin, which is to end government unions. But for what purpose? To elect Republicans. To, to clear the deck. So they think that if unions are out of the way, they can elect Republicans and enact a conservative right-wing agenda. If you look at what Scott Walker did in Wisconsin, he went after the unions first, and then he started going after all the other things, including good government stuff, environmental stuff, choice, school funding, all those pieces of things. But it was go after the unions first, and that's the, the model. There's a, um, I'll send you a video of two, but we have it on our website, at a CPAC conference, you know, CPAC. Um, it was on stage, it was like Grover Norquist, Reince Priebus, the head of Americans for Prosperity, which is like the Koch brother grassroots uh, outfit. Um, and the conversation was literally titled How to Turn Blue States Red. And this is just what they said, is that this is what we want to do. And um, they didn't come until the fall of 2015, and Harris was decided in the summer of 2014. So almost a year and a half later. And all of a sudden, 503's membership started going up. So we think they're going to do the same thing with the Janus decision. There will probably be some union members that stop paying dues and become free riders. Um, but I, you know, have a, it's not going to be because of the Freedom Foundation. They're just not that good at what they do. So is your concern that, that they're taking credit for things that they don't do? as opposed to that they may be effective and therefore you want to counter them? Well, my biggest concern with them, the biggest place where I think they pose a threat is I think they pose a threat to the safety of union members. They get their personal information, their birth dates, they try to get their home addresses, they have no requirement to keep that secure. We want to get the message out that they're not actually doing what they say they're going to do, and they have a long history of overstating it. They take some pictures, they send it to their funders, who are largely out of state, who don't have a sense of what's happening on the ground here. Um, and they just buy it. And so we, presumably they keep funding them.